An employee at a Rutland business says she's lucky to be alive tonight. An electric box is likely to blame for the structure fire at a vehicle repair shop, but it's the company's surroundings that made fighting the fire difficult. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us now to explain. Brittany. Olivia, the Rutland Fire Department says there were many dangers when fighting this fire. On one side of the building is an oil company and on the roof were solar panels. A vehicle repair shop bursts into flames Friday morning. Mechanic Cassandra Casera says she left the shop to grab supplies for a few minutes and couldn't believe her eyes when she returned. I saw smoke coming from the side of the building. So immediately I ran inside. Uh, I did see some fire, so I called 911. All of a sudden it just it blew up. It sounded like popping, cracking, almost little explosions and it was really scary. Casera says there is heavy damage to the building, but it could have been much worse. We've got a Century Oil next door, so luckily I was able to get somebody that was over there and have them get their trucks out as soon as they could because that would have been devastating. Deputy Chief Jeff Lowe says the oil trucks weren't the only dangerous risk with the building. He says the solar panels on the roof made their job tricky. It poses a problem for us because they stay energized all the time. There's no cutoff switch, so it kind of changes our operation a little bit. Usually, more times than not, we would have to cut a hole in the roof to allow the gases and smoke to escape, but we couldn't do that with this, so we had to go on the outside uh, through the uh, ridge here. At least five neighboring towns aided in the fire. Lowe says the extra help makes a big difference for a small department. We were short-handed to begin with because of the other call, but during the day we are short-handed anyways. And then Rutland was here, and then Holden, and I feel like almost the whole state is here. All these men and women, they're just incredible people for being here and helping out. As for Caceres, she says she hopes she can return to work soon. Unfortunately, I think I can't work for another little while, but for me, it's okay. I don't care as long as everyone's okay. <laughs> Lowe says a roof collapse was also a possible danger. He says it's a trust roof, which is only being held by wood and thin metal. As for the cause of the fire, it's still under investigation. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight.